Students at the University of Virginia have long noticed one particularly unique thing about grounds, the large amount of redheads. Although gingers only make up one to two percent of the global population, it seems that everywhere you look around grounds, there's at least one redhead in sight. The large ginger who population has been a highly discussed topic for years now, with tweets dating back to 2009. The redheads on grounds have remained a highly well-known topic today. Have you noticed that there's a lot of redheads on grounds? I have, yeah. I'd say UVA probably has more redheads than your average school. The abundance of redheads at UVA has led two students to create an Instagram page titled Gingers of UVA. This account has reached nearly 2,000 followers in less than a year. We interviewed the creators of Gingers of UVA, who preferred to be kept anonymous, about their experience running the account. What motivated you to start the Gingers of UVA Instagram? Honestly, it just kind of started as a joke between us because we would walk around grounds like when we first got here. Like there's so many gingers. We like played five football and we we're at our game. Our rep was ginger. And then I was like, oh look, that's funny, ha huh? It would be so funny if we started an Instagram. And so we did. We really did not expect it to get that big, but it did. And we were like, this is crazy. And how many followers do you guys have now? 1800, around there, 1900. The popularity of this Instagram page has allowed it to become a prominent aspect of UVA's student body since its conception in September of 2021. Do you think a lot of people know about Gingers of UVA? Um, I would say yeah. I think that if you mention Gingers of UVA to someone who goes here and they don't know what that is, it's a little like, you haven't heard of Gingers of UVA? Gingers of UVA's impact has extended far beyond grounds inspiring other schools from around the country to create redhead appreciation accounts of their own. We would look at all the other accounts like Gingers of Arkansas and Gingers of like Ohio State and Gingers of Virginia Tech, and they were all kind of started like after we took off. We don't want to claim to be like, oh my God, we're the first Gingers of blank, but like it definitely did take off a lot more like after our account. What made you guys decide to keep your identity anonymous? It's, it's a little bit weird that we're not Gingers, so I like to like keep that anonymous because I don't want people to think that we're like being mean to gingers. We're just doing it to like appreciate them. Everyone has their theories, but why do you think there's so many gingers at UVA? I think it's gotta be the school colors. UVA is orange. They came so they could match their hair. Walking around grounds, it's always nice like when you're touring to like see someone who looks like you. So if there's already a lot of ginger and you're a ginger, you're like, oh my God, like I resonate with grounds because like I see so many people who look like me. And now that we have gingers of UVA, Maybe more gingers will be like attracted to UVA because they're like, oh my God, I'm like appreciated here. There are countless theories for why there are so many gingers at UVA. Some hypothesize that it has something to do with UVA's founder, Thomas Jefferson, being a redhead himself. Others believe that UVA's admissions has some type of favoritism towards applicants with red hair. Whatever the reason is, UVA is definitely a popular spot for gingers. I'm Sophia Celentano, WUVA.